I am back with another video. Today we are going to be doing a basic pinup look. Uh, this is what I wear if I just want a simple look to go with my outfits, something just classic and quick and easy. And so if you want to learn how to get this look, please keep watching. First thing that I do is I take my primer. Recently got this one, the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer with coconut oil. I'm still kind of testing it out with different ways, different foundations and stuff like that because I have several different foundations. And so I'm just going to squirt a little bit. And I really like to focus under the eyes. I just put it all over my face and on my forehead. Make sure I get, get it covered everywhere. It does have like a light coconut scent. There's, I love coconut so it doesn't bother me at all. And it dries very fast. It kind of has like a kind of like a sticky texture in a way. The primers that I've used before have been with silicone in them and I found that they tend to make my skin oilier, oilier throughout the day. So I've been trying this one seeing if it controls my oil better or if it makes it worse. I have noticed that with the Too Faced foundation that I got, the peach, the first day that I tried it, uh, it was just really weird. I don't know what happened with my skin, but right around here, it really emphasized my pores. And I don't know why that happened. Maybe it was just a bad day for my skin, or I'm not sure. Maybe it's just the mix of the two that wasn't really working. So I've been trying to play around with it. So after that, I take my foundation. I have a little bit left from this one, the Makeup Forever HD in R230. This is one of the lighter shades, as I am pretty pale. I don't have a lot of this left. I've been trying to use it up. I used this combination yesterday with the primer, and it was okay, it wasn't bad. And then I just use like a basic little brush that I got a Sephora set a couple years ago and since this bottle is glass I can't uh, cut it or anything so I have to kind of dig dig in there I just kind of spread the foundation all over my face You guys just heard the cuckoo clock that I got mailed to me a couple weeks ago. It was my grandmother's. She passed away in December, so I inherited some of her items. I am filming in my living room because there's just better lighting out here. Now I go in with my Morphe M43 brush. I picked it up at Ulta. I'm so happy that they have a Morphe line now. I've been wanting to try their stuff forever and I finally got my hands on this and I love it. Oh, my hair is in the way. Oh. Make sure I get it all blended out perfectly, evenly. Right, so it looks like there's still some spots on my nose that need to be covered. So if there's any spots, oh my, I just dropped it. So if there's any spots that need to be covered or gone over, I just put my brush back in there. My nose is always the toughest for whatever reason, it, it doesn't, take very well so look at there's some spots i've been having issues with this right cheek as well lately my left one is okay it's just this right one does not want to cooperate very well If I have dark circles under my eyes, I usually use the Naked Skin by Urban Decay, this concealer right here. This is in the shade Fair Neutral, and I'm almost running out of this as well. I 
And I go back in with my brush, my Morphe brush. So you can see that that made my eyes like more brighter and it covered up my little dark circles here. Well, after that, I do brows. So for brows, I use MAC, the Fluid Line Gel Brow Cream in Dirty Blonde. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. This is comparable to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. And then I just have their brush, the angled brush here, and the number is kind of coming off, but this is 266, I believe. So I just dip it in here, get some product on there. I'm gonna scrape it off on the edge so it makes like a clean line. And then we're gonna get up close and personal here for a second. So then I just do the outline. So I usually do my left first because that's the good one. Then I fill it in. Oh. Don't worry, I'm gonna erase this eventually. <laughs> so I don't look like Call of Frida. I don't have a unibrow. I just kind of drag it over a little bit and then I take my finger and kind of rub it. So that way it kind of makes like like the Instagram brows kind of like the faded effect. All right. That's good. So that side's done. And then if I need more product, I just go in and dip it again. And I do th the same thing on the other side. I'll go back in with my Morphe brush and just kind of go over it and make sure everything is blended again. Everything looks seamless. We're moving on to eyes now. This is one of my favorite eye primers. I've had it for years. I've been using it constantly, uh, pretty much every day whenever I wear eyeshadow. It's the Urban Decay. Uh, eyeshadow primer potion. This is the original one. I know they have several different ones, but I just stick with the original. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a second. For eyes, I just stick to neutrals, usually, like um, browns, mostly, because they go with everything. So I'm using the Naked palette. Uh, this is the original. I've used it quite a bit. As you can see, my favorite one is Sidecar. I've pretty much hit pan on that one, but I do have a little replacement. So the shades that I use, let me see if you can see it here. So I pretty much use this one. Um, it is naked and let's see what's the other one the darker brown um, buck and this brush is just the one that came with the naked 3 palette I don't have any special brushes or anything I'm gonna take a little of the naked and just apply it to the whole lid I kind of just use the other side, the big fluffy 
to blend it out so that way the edges are seamless. So this just acts as a base color so that way it's not so just stark white. I'm going to go in with that buck color, the darker. Uh, darker brown right there. I'm going to put that in the crease now. I'm going to take the fluffy end again and blend it. And do the same to the other side. And I think I need a little bit more. I've tried several different highlighters. I have tried just the pencil one and the felt tip kind. I have never tried the gel before, so I'm interested. I kind of want to try out that, see how I do with it. I've tried many different brands from, you know, drugstore ones to Almay to higher end like Sephora. So this one I have always gone back to. I tried this for the first time I think a couple years ago and I just fell in love. It's going to be always my go-to for this. It is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black. So this one will always be my tried and true just because it lasts so long, it doesn't dry out, and it goes on really nice. So I know different people have different ways of doing their wings, but this is just the way that's easiest for me. It depends on your eye, I guess, as well, your eye shape. I just like kind of pull my eye like this just to get an even line, like not very hard. And then I start at the inside. And then I fill it in. And I get like close to my lash line. So my lashes are blonde, so I kind of want to get in those little spaces. And I do both like that first. All right guys, I'm at the wrong angle here. And here keeps slipping. As I get a little in the corner that I don't mean to, I just kind of wipe it away before it dries. I find that the felt tip liners are the easiest to work with for making like wings and getting really in there or to do my wing here i have tried the hack i guess you would call it of doing the tape on the sides but usually it doesn't come out even enough so i just freehand it honestly like i've just practiced a ton and did it every day and got it to where I can actually freehand it now and sometimes it does take a couple attempts like some days are just not good days so I usually have to take a q-tip and like go over it and then redo it but most of the time it's quick and painless and so this part of your eye like right there the corner I usually try to line it up make the line towards my eyebrow towards the edge. All right. 
just like that, just one line. And then I go from the top and kind of swoop it. So I go like this and then whoop. So now you can see that it makes a little curve in there. So I try to line it up with my liner to my regular liner. So that way it's just seamless all the way across instead of having two different lines like not intersecting. And then I fill it in. Very carefully, I might add. So now we have the perfect wing on that side. Very sharp, very clean, done. So now the other side, it's kind of tricky because you have to kind of do it the same way, except for a different angle. A little swoop on the same thing on this side. If the little point doesn't match up or like doesn't show up very well, you can always just lightly go over it. You have it, perfect wings on both sides. For mascara, this is also one of my tried and trues that I have tried many mascaras as well and I have found this one works the best uh, for me. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I know some people are divided on it. Um, I am more on the spectrum of I love it. It just works a lot for me. It's very voluminous and it makes my lashes pop since I have blonde lashes. You can't really see them. So you guys get to see my mascara face because we all know that we can't do mascara with our mouths closed. So I normally don't wear false lashes just because I have to wear glasses every day and I'm not really the best at putting them on anyway so I just tend to avoid them. I kind of do want to try it again. I just kind of wore them one year for Halloween a couple years ago but I haven't tried them since then. So I think I kind of just want to get like a, a cheap pair and try them out and see if like the shorter ones or I can even cut them and see if they would work with my glasses. Sometimes I powder just the places where I'm going to be putting other powder products such as contour. So I used to use the Sephora house brand of their powder but for whatever reason I don't know if they changed the formula. It just didn't work with my skin anymore. It made me super oily uh, throughout the day and I just was looking for something new so I decided to give this one a try. The Locket Blotting Powder from Kat Von D in the shade Light. And I've used this a lot recently, so I've hit pan already on it. Um, but it does come with this. I need to wash this. <laughs> Just get it on there. Especially under my eyes, I like to focus on that too. Especially if I have on concealer underneath, I just like to set it. So I don't do really a thick amount um, unless I'm having like a really bad day or I'm struggling with my under eyes or something, but today is not bad. Next thing I do is sometimes I contour, sometimes I don't. It's just if I'm in a hurry or if I'm lazy, I do use the Too Faced Cocoa Contour. Um, and I think this one is the light to medium. 
and I love how it smells like chocolate. Like, I just want to eat it. It smells so good. It makes me want a cup of hot cocoa, <laughs> to be honest. So what I do, I use the Kabuki brush that they give you already. It's really soft and flexible and it blends out everything great. So I usually just use the medium cocoa right here. This one is kind of too peachy for me. So I just go in there and get some on there and then blow it off so that way there's not a lot too too much of the fish face as always. So the contour is very light because I don't really like heavy contour. I'm not into that whole thing. Just enough to, to show that I actually, yes, I do have cheekbones. <laughs> so for blush, I did have the NARS Orgasm uh, that is kind of a little bit sparkly. And then I do have Sephora points. So I end up getting like the little samples of stuff all the time. And this one came in my Tarte birthday package because it was close to my birthday when I got this. They gave me a blush in here and I've been using this a lot. Like I've been reaching for this quite a bit. It's in the shade Party. Oh, the little thing. Oh. This is just this and then the compact is really nice and small. It's good for travel. Use the Kabuki brush again from the contour. On the same spot, just like above my contour and kind of just add a little line. I don't like a lot of blush either. I know you guys can't really see it that much on camera, but it's there. I just like enough to kind of brighten up my face, not go on like full 80s glam or anything. Last but not least is the lips. I actually got this yesterday. So I was so excited to see that they actually had ColourPop at Ulta. I do receive the magazine in the mail. So when I saw that, I was super excited. Whenever I go on to any of the websites, that they're always sold out. And I've always wanted to try their matte lipstick. So I went yesterday because I had a hair appointment to cut my bangs anyway. So while I was there, I picked this up. It's the Ultra Matte Lip. And the shade is in Creeper. This is kind of like a first impression as well because I have never tried this before. So this should be interesting. So it's like a, a bright red So it definitely went on very creamy. It does feel a little drying, but I don't think it's bad. Like I'll have to try to wear it throughout the day and see how it lasts and if it makes my lips even more dry because that's what I have problems with usually with liquid lipsticks is that they're too drying and they just suck out the moisture from my lips. So hopefully this one doesn't do it because I really want to like this brand. So it doesn't look bad. Uh, it does look like a little mattifying. So far it feels really silky. To the touch, it does dry pretty quickly. There is a little bit of transfer right now. Hopefully it stays and wears throughout the day. This is the final look, my basic pinup makeup. All of the products that I used will be linked down below. If you like this and want to see more looks and makeup tutorials, please subscribe and make sure to like this video.